Hey guys, welcome back to another Random Games Gallery. This time we'll be playing the Medieval Psychologist. So let's check this out and see what this is about. Let's see what we got here. Okay, that's all set up good. New game. I'll leave a link to the game in the description. You are a stranger on your way to Lost Worth, a town full of people lost in the darkness of the Middle Ages. Ooh, nice animations. Your purpose, helping people spiritually. For this, you have only books, potions, and words. Kind of creepy, too. All right, let's see what we do here with the loads. We got zero reputation, zero intelligence. So, what is all this stuff? Uh, let's see what we can click on. Uh, what's that? Crafting. Grain of soup. Read requires an intelligence of six. I don't. What's my intelligence? Place them together. Place on the coal. To read this, I have to work in the workshop. Increase intelligence. Okay. Uh, just see what all options are. Okay, that's where you go to town. General knowledge. I still can't do that. I can't combat mice because I don't have... Better take a look at the map before I go up. Okay. This is my home. This is a house. It's the only thing I can click on, so I'm going to go to it. Alright, let's talk. Ooh, it's a. Has he been beat up? Ooh, it's got um, voiceovers. That's nice. Uh, hello. Who are you? My name is Bernard. Well, what do you do for a living? I help people. What kind of help? Mostly I try to help those with spiritual problems, lad. I see, then you must be a priest. No, I'm not. The way I work is different from that. A sorcerer, then? Mm, no, I'm not a sorcerer. No. Good, because Lostworth is no safe harbor for sorcerers. A few days ago, a monk acting strangely arrived. The townsfolk decided he was a witch and chopped off his head. That really is a pity. So tell me, what do you do for a living? I'm an apprentice. I work for the blacksmith. Uh, shall we talk later? Do you get along with your master? Do you get along with your master? We get along all right. Did your master do that to your eye? Not at all. I just walked into a door. Okay. What, you don't believe me? No, I do. But you can tell me if there's anything I can help you, lad. I don't need any help, sir. I'm stronger than I look. I see. It doesn't look like that from here. Ugh. Are you trying to tick me off, sir? Are you trying to tick me off, sir? Anyhow, you didn't tell me your name. You didn't ask. It's Milo. Just tell me, Milo. What's new in town? It's all the same. While the nobles are fighting, the villagers are living in misery and starving to death. What about you? How do you intend to keep your belly full? Maybe you can bring me something. Would you like me to solve this door problem of yours? <laughs> I 
There's only one solution to that, and that is to run quickly for my master. Or not to make any mistakes while working. It will be difficult to make any mistakes with your eye looking like that. Well, there's that. I can hardly see. What do you say we treat this eye of yours a bit? How would you do that? I'll prepare an ointment for you. Yes. Great. When should I come for that? I'll let you know. Goodbye. Goodbye. Farewell. Mind the doors. Okay, so I got eight relation. Okay. No intelligence, though. That's the problem. Okay, here's where I can build up my intelligence, I assume. Here's the chest. I don't even remember where I put the key. What is all this stuff? Piece of iron, coal. Okay, so you gotta like, if I hang a cauldron here, I could do some cooking. All right, I have to light the fire first. Yeah, but what am I supposed to be making? I don't even know what I'm making here. I can put the brushwood there, I'm sure. To help light it. It can be it can be easy to crush ingredients in this mortar. What am I making? Some for his eyes soon, but I don't know what I'm making. Well Flint's how you'd start start the fire. I just I need to take the flint. Oh, you need flint and steel. Do I need the iron to, to mix the flint and steel? I'm just trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Okay, so... There we go. There's the fire. Let me take this. Get on top of the thing. I gotta see something real fast. I uh, still can't read that yet to make grain soup. Shoot. Um. And then there was something here too, general knowledge, but I, I definitely don't have enough to do that. Um. So, I mean, what am I supposed to cook? I can't. Maybe I take the barley's a staple food grain, but I don't need it right now. Perhaps later. Leave it where it is for the time being. Okay. In addition, cooking can be used for therapeutic purposes. Um, I'd rather take it when I need it. Use it after all. It has a pungent smell. All right, I pick up a bottle. So apparently, I need a bottle or something. Okay. Clean water. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, I got you on that. Can't do nothing with the candle. Um. Yeah, I know it's empty, but I can't do anything with it. So I'm supposed to put water in it. I do it when I need it. Okay. Uh. Huh. I'm not exactly sure what I do to. Unless I gotta go out of town to do something, maybe. I don't see anything else in town I can do though. Says to giving a expects me to treat the bruise. I know that. Like, if I talk to him again, I don't think the cream is ready. I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to it. See you. All right, so I figured out that part. Like, I need to get my intelligence up to like six. So I gotta do something here to get it up to six. There's a key somewhere for that. I missed the key. Maybe the key's down here somewhere? I'm not paying where it's at. I'm just clicking around. Cures. Here we go. Bruise ointment. Intelligence 3. Gotcha. 
cow, take the garlic, uh, cut the garlic, put it in a bottle, add vinegar. Okay. Garlic cut, uh, garlic cut to bottle, and then vinegar to bottle. Gotcha. Okay, so garlic cut to bottle, vinegar to bottle. And there's your bruise ointment. And that gave me an intelligence of six. And if I'm mistaken, now I can create green soup. I'll work with this later. Okay. So I don't need to do that yet. I need to go give the bruise appointment to the kid. Now the cream is ready, isn't it? Well, what do I... I'm confused now. Like... I did it. I made the bruise ointment. That is all you needed, right? Yeah? You don't cook it, do you? Not this way. Okay. Maybe I'll make another? Well, that's it, isn't it? I made the bruise only mentioned. Uh, now I'll take it to the kid. And then I drag it out of my inventory, maybe, to him. Mm. Oh, there we go. Wow, thanks. All right, three reputation. How do I use the cream? It should be sufficient to apply small amounts to your eye. All right, thanks a lot, sir. I hope it works. Tell me about your master. My master Branson is a good blacksmith. Many merchants from nearby towns come to buy swords from him. Is that so? That's very impressive. Indeed it is, and if it weren't for the funny habit of his, he's actually a very good man. Huh. Really, what kind of funny habit? I can't tell you. In fact, everybody knows about it, but he'll slaughter me if I breathe a word. I can only tell you my master's nickname. Excuse me, and what's that? Big tongue. It is indeed funny. Yes, it's hilarious. And do you know it grows gradually bigger? I can't envision it. Why on earth would a tongue grow? I think it grows because it's constantly being used, especially on hard surfaces. Very interesting indeed. Anyway, I have to leave now. I will tell my master about you. He'll ask me where I've been for all this time anyway. I want to give you something. For making me this cream. Thank you very much. It's nothing much. Anyway, here it is. In fact, there isn't even anything inside. I'm sorry. See you later then. Goodbye. What did he give me? Oh. Empty plate. Um, I got eight intelligence. Well, is there other people now? Ha! Huh. This man. Hello there. Welcome. A rat just came in. Uh, did you see it? I didn't, but it's possible. Perhaps you didn't see it because it was quite fast, but I saw it. It's full of books in here. They love to munch on pages. Is your concern for me or for the books? That would definitely be disastrous for me. Don't worry, I'll hunt it down. That's my job. What do you mean by my job? Rats are filthy creatures. They spread diseases, eat the crops. If it weren't for me, lots lost worth would be ruined. I'm a rat hunter, you see. Yes, I see. Do you do you? You don't appear to. You are underestimating the rats, just like everyone else. No, I'm not. No one, knows. everyone underestimates rats. No one knows how difficult they are to exterminate them. I caught one of them a few days ago. I didn't hesitate for a moment. I climbed up to the tower of the church, and then threw the rat down with all my might. So, 
So I went down and it wasn't there. Can you believe it? It hadn't died. Actually, their bodies are extremely flexi. No one knows better than me about their flexibility. Did you know that they are excellent swimmers? No. Of course you didn't. But I tested. I have tested it multiple times. Rats can stay underwater for a very long time. I can easily say they swim faster than people. This man really needs to talk. Let him talk. Rats hear much better than us. In fact, they can hear sounds that we can't. Did you know a rat can give birth seven times in a single year? With 10 to 12 pups in each litter. No, I didn't know that. One should get along well with them. They will conquer the world in no time at all. These creatures also have special powers. A single breath will numb a person's fingers or ears, and then they will proceed to nibble on them. Also, these animals can easily pass through any hole that their nose fits into, and they can even jump as high as a yard in the air. So let him keep talking. Are you listening to me? Yes. Yes, of course. Then tell me, how many times can a rat give birth in a single year? Oh. You didn't say seven, you... Sorry, I'll try to make it up for it next time. I'm sure you will. It is clear that you think about and study rats in great detail. I too study and investigate a lot, but my friend of my field of study is humans. So. Human behavior, the way they think, what makes them happy? Oh, you have a rat. There's a rat on you. He has a name, Aura. Why is it on you? Because he's my rat and is happy to live on me. That's quite odd. It's odd that it lives on me? No, it's odd that you keep a rat. Yes, but can we keep it between us, please? Otherwise, I might lose my job. Don't worry. It won't go any further. Why should I trust you? Because my life philosophy is based on trust, and I believe this. Trust is like the soul. It never returns to a body. It is abandoned. That was very well said. Either way, I suppose I have no choice but to trust you. Well then, now can we make each other's acquaintance? I don't even know your name yet. Yes. My name is Merch. Uh, I thought you didn't like rats, Merch. Actually, I used to hate them. And? Over time, as I got to know them, my opinion changed. But you catch and kill them. No. Of course I don't kill them. How could I kill such beautiful creatures? That's what do you do with them? I catch them and then I release them into the wilderness somewhere outside of town. How do you do that? It doesn't sound like an easy task. When they simply return? Yes. Unfortunately, they do, and it's a huge problem for me. Every day, I catch around 100 to 150 rats and put them in a sack. At midnight, I release them somewhere far from town. They find out. They will fire me. You're right, it would certainly be bad to lose your job. It's not that. The real problem is that the new rat hunter would actually kill the rats. And this would make you sad? Yes, I suppose I would be sad. I can help you with that if you like. Huh. Help me? Yes, wouldn't you like that? Of course I would, but what kind of help are we talking about? If we can prevent the rats you leave outside the town from coming back, the problem would be solved, wouldn't it? Would it not? Yes, that would be very good. But how do you propose to do that? Hmm. If you bring me a large amount of mint leaves and some snake feces, I think we can come up with a solution, but I still need to check it from the book. Huh. That's incredible. I can hardly believe it. Are you a magician? No, it's not what you think. I only use the power of nature to do good. I will create a mixture with the ingredients you bring me. Of course I understand. I'll go now to find the things you asked for. Alright. Farewell. Mm. Okay, I'll work with that later. I don't have the intelligence to do the rat thing yet, I don't think so. so there's a rat thing. Combating mice, I need an intelligence of nine. I only have an eight. Unless I get an another intelligence for ok 
Yeah, I have to pick that up for some reason. Um... Alright, don't do things I'm not sure about. Okay, I'm thinking I'm... Alright. Well, I can't. I need one more intelligence. Before I can do anything. Is there anything I can... Oh, there's another person to tell. Okay. Robert. Hello there. Hello. I say, you must be new around here. Indeed, you may say that. I'm trying to get accustomed to things. Don't try to get accustomed to lots... Lost worth, if you ask me. Why do you say that? Living here isn't easy. Why is that? Or does an easy place to live even exist? Of course it doesn't. However, there is an altogether greater level of difficulty here. One must tackle diseases and endure oppression from landlords in the church, while also being burdened with crippling taxes. Those who live here must work hard and know how to make do with less. In short, one must get used to living with hunger. For instance, right now I'm so hungry that I can feel my body trying to ingest itself, but I endure as best I can. Do you want something to eat? I didn't come to beg for a meal. Of course not. I'm just trying to help. If I intended to beg for help, I would do it find it somewhere that smelled delicious. I apologize. I didn't mean to offend you. Seeing the books inside, I just came in. I assume you know how to read then? Yes, indeed. Not only do I read, I also know how to write. Where'd you learn? It's a long story, and I don't have the strength to tell it. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. I shall feed you, and in return, you will tell me your story. Hmm, why not? I didn't like I didn't like you very much, but that sounds fair enough. I shall leave for now. Farewell. Okay, so now I can do the grain soup. So, okay, I'll mortar the grain, then put them in a bowl, and add water. Mortar the grain, put them in a bowl, add water. Or the grain. Put my bowl. Oh. Okay. Put them in a bowl. And add water. And I got barley soup. So now I go back. Oh, the boy's back. Welcome. What's your name? Uh, pretend he doesn't exist. Nasty, naughty rascal. Don't expect much praise for its taste, but at least a few things got into my stomach. Thank you. Bon appetit, but I still don't know your name. You can call me Robert. And I'm Bernard. By the way, there's something I don't understand, Robert. Why don't you make use of what nature offers? Like what, for example? Hmm, you could catch fish? Where do you live? You can't be unaware of the fact that everything belongs to the landlords. Or are you mocking me? I honestly didn't know. It's quite interesting that you're surrounded by so many books and yet you seem to know very little. I really cannot tolerate fools. And now I'm a fool, am I? I cannot tolerate them either. People of this town make me angry and ill-tempered. How so? Those fools live a life of toil only to give everything they earn to the landlords. To top it off, they have to pay taxes with the chicken feed left in their pockets. And do you know what that their only consol con consolation is? What? They believe they will go to heaven. What's more, they hope to do it by way of the prayers of the drunken Father Merrick. That's worrisome. Indeed it is. There was a time I endeavored to change these people. Endeavored how? You were going to tell me your story. Story? So you want to learn the whole story for a plate of soup? You can at least summarize it. Very well, let me tell you in brief. I'm a man who has lost everything he ever cared about. I have nothing left but my experiences and my loathing, and when the time comes, everything will change. That was certainly short. 
You will find out when the time comes, Bernard. I see. Perhaps we can help each other in the process. Oh. You are always seeking to help. I'm not interested in receiving any help from you. You go and help those dull-witted masses outside. Leave me alone. All right, now though, I have enough to do the combat ignites, right? Or I can't. Oh, I gotta wait till the dude brings back the right. right. Oh, there's okay. Another person needs help. Hello, son. Hi. Wow, what a lot of books you have. Uh, do you like to read? These books are very precious to me. Okay, don't worry. I shall not lay a finger on your books. You misunderstood. I didn't mean that. That's all right. Why would I touch your books anyway? I don't even know how to read and write. All of my duties are on hills and in fields. Let me guess. You must be a shepherd. Spot on. That's very impressive. I wonder about day and night with my sheep and goats. I know where all the best pastures are, as well as where and as where and in which season they find the greenest grass. Such things can't be learnt from books. You may be right about that. You must be loving being a shepherd. Love, I never thought of it like that. Besides, I didn't have any other option. My father was a shepherd, as was his father before him. It's a sacred profession. Preventing my master and the priest from becoming ill from the winter cold is a holy duty for me. How do you prevent that? With goats, of course, they are a miracle of our Lord. Their wool, their skin, and their milk make their owners rich, and they in turn address the needs of the church. What about your and your family's needs? What matters most to us is eternal freedom, son. The more wool we offer to the church, the more peace we feel inside. We will be rewarded with eternity in paradise in return for our sacrifices. We won't be needing goat wool and milk there. So may I learn your name? It's us. I think I may have heard it before. It's possible. Perhaps I told you about my special powers. Powers? Yes, I have these powers that some would laugh at. Tell you if you agree not to laugh. I promise I won't laugh. Then I shall tell you. I'm listening. I can talk with goats. Even if nobody believes me, it's the truth. Everyone laughs at me, but it's my special power. So how do you talk with your goats? Actually, it's not exactly a dialogue. He does most of the talking. I see, and what does he tell you? Does it matter what he tells me? If you would rather not say, that's fine. However, I think it may be of importance. The things he says are not very nice, though. In what way? Is he hurtful? Not exactly. Oh, curses at me. Kind of curse. It's a terrible one that I couldn't utter here. Why does he curse at you? I really don't know. I have to know precisely what he says. Why is it that important to you? I just want to know. Mm, well, I don't want to tell you. Insisting doesn't help. Okay. Are there any witnesses to this incident? Of course there are. Plenty of them. Very good. Who are they? Other goats? Can goats act as witnesses to anything, Bozo? No, it's unlikely as they can't speak. Bravo. Only one of them can speak. I need to remain calm. Then please start from the very beginning. When and where did this incident happen? It happens most days. In fact, there's only one day that it didn't happen. Every morning I take the goats to a large meadow north of the mountain. And when we return in the evenings, we take the path through the forest. At the end of that path, there's a stream where I sit and rest. It's in that very spot that a goat approaches me. He starts scourging at me. Does this incident take place in the same location every time? Yes, it always happens in the same place. Is it possible you're suffering from exhaustion? Mm, I don't know what to say. Is it possible that, a, that the goat has a splinter in his foot? Do goats curse when they get a splinter in their foot? It's unlikely. It's absurd. How is it possible for the goat to have a splinter in his foot every day? No need to get angry. I have one final question to ask. Have you ever seen anything usual or out of the ordinary at the location where the goat curses at you? 
No, just the usual things. Stream, dense forest, and various herbs. Was there anything that caught your attention about the herbs? They were regular herbs of the kind goats enjoy eating. No different from anywhere else? No, wait a second. Did you remember something? There was an herb the goats avoided. Which herb? I don't know. A strange looking herb that I've never seen before. In fact, I would go and wait among those herbs so the goats could graze in peace. That's the place where the goat curses at you, isn't it? Yes, just about. I want you to bring me a bunch of these herbs. Fine, but I can't say I understand what this is about. I believe I may be able to solve the problem of yours when I get my hands on those herbs. I have the utmost faith in you. I shall bring you the herbs at the earliest possible time. Farewell. And now can I do my general knowledge of combating mice? No. I need that stuff that dude's gonna bring me. Which is this dude? Yes. Well, I guess he's not back yet. I can't talk to him either. See if there's anybody I can talk to. Oh, somebody new. That I. Help me, please. They're going to kill me. Who's going to kill you? In fact, everyone in the city. Are they at the door now? Perhaps they're after me. They're waiting for an opportunity to kill me. I'm so afraid and so weary of running. Please pray for me. Or don't. I don't know anymore. Um couldn't help you because you just left oh, okay I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I kind of can't do anything else At the moment, I can get the grain out. What is that? I can make another. How did they make the soup? I forgot how the soup's made. No, it's, it's not under that. It's under the. No, that's the bruise ointment. I want the grain soup. Uh, you just put it in the mortar and then in there and add water. But I don't have a bowl. Anymore. Huh. I don't know what you do with it. Huh. Hoping that guy comes back. Oh, we got a couple more places. Oh, is that him? Alright, let's talk to him. I'll do the rat catching thing. Welcome, Merch. Greetings. Uh, is Aura in your pockets? You remember my rat's name? I really appreciate that. Actually, I left Aura at home today. How are you fa faring? Not bad. I finally managed to gather the items you asked for. Here they all are. These are perfect. Now I need to work on these ingredients. Would you excuse me for a while? I'll let you know when it's ready. Please hurry. I don't want my rats to be harmed. I shall do my best. By the way, before I forget, a carter who came to town asked me to deliver this letter to you. Thank you. See you around. What's the letter say? My poor friend Bernard. Did you really believe you would be able to escape by running off to that putrid little town? If you really knew me, you'd know that I would come to take back what is mine. I'll be there soon. If you value your life at all, you will give me my book when I arrive. Otherwise, 
Rest assured that everyone in that cesspool you are hiding in will know what kind of a man you really are. And believe me, that is the least of what will befall you. Ooh, creepy. Demo is over. I figured that was going to be the end of it right there. That was a cool game. That was really fun. I really liked that. That had a lot of cool concepts to it. That I, I like how the reputation meter of the different people go up and down and they react to you differently. And the crafting was kind of like, it was fun because it wasn't overly complicated. It was like, more like just kind of solving a puzzle. But then it would tell, you know, if you had the intelligence to do it, you could actually learn the different things. This will be a cool game when it's expanded upon. So definitely, guys, if you get a chance, play this for sure. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I like the voiceover. I'm going to say that real fast, too, though. I like the voiceover work, too. It would actually, I mean, I know it's probably, you know, you probably just did a few lines because it's probably so many different lines and ways it can alter based on what you say to the person. But it would be cool if a lot of, like, if most of the lines were voiced over. But other, I mean, that's just a small, minor detail that would be cool to have. But even so, this was just really awesome to play. And, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, keep up the positivity.